Hello guys, welcome to Developer Student Club at the University of Bahrain. And today we will show you how to get your free month access on Quick Labs. Um, first of all, welcome. Um, I know we are a little bit late, but we will start um, by today just showing you briefly how to get your free month access. Again, you have to follow these specific steps go to the description below, copy the link, paste it in incognito mode, click on the join button, uh, fill your uh, basic information, your first name, last name, and email. Again, I will talk in both Arabic and English in the upcoming sessions, so everyone can understand me. For the company name, you can write your university name. Salam alaikum, marhaban bikum fa nadi talab al mutawarin fi jamaat al Bahrain. Ahna mutakharin shwaya, bas lini kan fi shwaya mashakil amu maniani, bas alhamdulillah kulla haga tamam dilati. Naharda al video da bas aashan. تاخدوا الشهر الفري عشان تبداوا معانا كورسات من السيشنز الجاي اوكي ناو يو هاف بين سنت ا كونفيرميشن لينك جو تو يور جيميل اوبن ذا لينك كليك اون ذا لينك تو كونفيرم يور يور ريجستريشن Now you can see your account was successfully confirmed. Now go back to, uh, to the other uh, window. Don't sign in in this one. Sign in in this one, which have the link you, uh, you already took from the description. Taini khudil اعمل الكونفرميشن وارجع لنفس الويندو اللي انت حاطط فيها اللينك واعمل ساين ان ناو يو كان سي ذس ويندو ذس از اور فيرست كويست يو ستارت از يو كان سي يور يو كان سي يور بروفايل ابوف ناو كليك ان انرول سكيب ذس فيديو Um, to, uh, now you will have one credit to start this lab. Launch with one credit. Okay. دلوقتي هنبدأ اللاب. We'll start now the lab. Um, this is basically a description about the lab. هنتكلم النهاردة على Google Cloud SDK How to install Google Cloud SDK on the virtual machine Again, you don't have to understand any of these on the first try We are just trying to finish this lab uh, in order to get your free month access مش لازم تفهم أي حاجة من أول lab أنا بس هتكلم شرح بسيط هعمل نفس الخطوات اللي انا بعملها دلوقتي وبعدين هنبقى نعمل ال ال في السيشنز الجاية طيب now accept again what we have did is from the google cloud console we clicked on it sign in with the user name and the password specified in the lab Every lab has a unique the username and password. Now you you came to this window. Just click I agree, agree and continue. This is the the interface of the Google Cloud platform. Here you can do any service or any. Uh, you can use any tool here. As you can see, you can see your project info. You can see another cards. Here in the navigation pane, you will see all the tools available for you to use uh, in the cloud. Okay, let's follow the instructions of the lab. 
first of all we have cloud shell cloud shell is basically like the command line you use in uh, in windows but this has already uh, some special commands for google cloud let it connect okay let's go back to the lab uh, now let's copy our first command our first command go, uh, g cloud auth list is to see which active accounts are being used right now you can see here this is your username you already used in the lab this is the expected output this is another example now copy the second line uh, the second code which is gcloud config list project which will show you what is the project id you are using right now okay so you can see it above here okay this is the the output the example output so let us set up our virtual machine again uh, we will discuss all this in the next sessions but we are just our main focus for this video is to get you your free month access now go as it said to compute engine from the navigation pane click on uh, vm instance click create now we will set up a virtual machine uh, on the cloud to use okay this is the, your all your configurations you have your cost everything okay now in the boot disk section click change to begin configuring your boot disk as you can see we want to change it to sent os basically we are changing the image or the operation uh, sorry the operating system of the virtual machine we'll choose sent os which is a distribution from linux and in the firewall section uh, select allow http traffic here you can find the firewall okay now click create so that's basically it to for now to uh, to set up a virtual machine instance let it load i don't need the back right now okay كل اللي احنا عملناه لحد دلوقتي ان احنا عملنا فيرتشوال ماشين click check my progress as you can see uh, we are on the right track you can see your score updated now click on the ssh button for your instance uh, to install the google cloud sdk so click on ssh let it connect okay google cloud sdk is basically like when you first um, install intellij or android studio or visual studio or whatever ide you are using you are installing the java sdk just copy this code let it run it will automatically set up everything for you yes. uh, as you can see is this okay you can go back and see respond by when prompt okay click y enter احنا بس عملنا ان احنا بنحاول نعمل انستول للجوجل كلاود اس دي كي اللي هو زي الجافا جي دي كي او الجافا اس دي كي اللي انت بتحمله عشان تستخدم انتل جي او تستخدم اندرويد ستوديو ما 
لو انت شايف اي حاجة من الحاجات دي مش مفهومة او انت مش فاهم احنا رحنا منين وجينا منين مش مهمة دلوقتي احنا بس عايزين نخلص اللاب ده لان اول ما تخلص اللاب هيجي لك المنث فري اكسس فحاول تمشي على نفس الخطوات بالظبط عشان تاخد المنث فري اكسس وتعرف تتابع معانا لو بعد الفيديو ده معرفتش آه يعني ما ظهرلكش ان انت خدت منثلي سبسكريبشن جاست سند سند مي ا مسج اون ذا واتساب جروب اوكي ايفريثينج از دان ناو ليتس كوبي ذيس كود تو ران ذا جي كلاود اس دي كي ناو وي ويل تشوز لوج ان ويز يا We will choose option two to log in with a new account. Okay. Click yes. Enter a verification code. Okay. If you see here back. Um, just go to to the link in the SSH. Copy uh, the verification code from. It. This is the link. Just click on it. Sign in with the same again with the same email you you used for uh, for this lab, which is this account. Click allow. Now copy this link. We'll go back again to the SSH. Paste the the verification code and click enter. Now pick a cloud project to use. Okay, let's go back. It will show you to type the number corresponding to your GCB project ID. which you can find it here this is your project id so try to find the same number which has the project id which is six okay click um, six now let it run okay now everything is good okay let's click on check my progress everything is okay so far so the score is 100 percent in the upcoming labs uh, you might find codes after uh, after you get 100 percent it's optional like as you can see here we used the first command again we used in the g cloud if you remember so basically all of these uh, um, All of these codes are optional, just for further information. And you can basically end the lab here. Okay, this is again the first two codes. It will show you like the region and the zone of the virtual machine. Again, it might sound complicated to most of you. I know there is a lot of geniuses out there, but. For uh, for beginners, especially, you might see uh, might see this lab a little bit confusing. Uh, don't worry, we will cover everything up. But the main focus of this lab is to get you the month subscription. Okay, congratulations! You finished your first lab. You can uh, you can read the documentations, and you can find the certifications. you can apply for by finishing some quests okay click ok if you want to provide a feedback of course and submit now you have finished the lab just close everything you have opened so far uh, close the ssh okay now we finished the lab Um, uh, this is basically it um, the main purpose of quick labs 
is more practical than theory you find the documentation to see but the main focus is practicality more than theoretical documentations okay let's discuss what is quick labs in general quick labs is a platform to learn about cloud in general and google cloud uh, platform in uh, uh, in specifics yeah. so these are all labs inside one quest okay what is quest and what is lab the lab is what we just did so far mm, just run the lab do the, the steps um, that's it if you finish the lab it will show you as a mark okay what is quest quest is uh, a combination of hands-on labs as the one we solved el earlier to um, um, to satisfy a specific a specific topic so this topic is baseline develop and deploy is for deploying and uh, developing application if you click on catalog you find all the labs available you have as you can see up uh, 481 uh, uh, labs and uh, quests you can from the filter choose whatever you want you you can choose a hands-on lab or a quest as as you can see here for a GCP essential and you can choose course as well you can choose your level introductory fundamental advanced expert as you can see here will be shown in the quest or the hands-on lab the duration you can choose the duration you want to again just filtering you have 45 minutes here and four hours here it depends the price is basically when you want to take a lab or a quest you have to pay you pay with credits after this lab you will have unlimited credits for a month so you can basically do any quest or any lab on the google cloud uh, on the quick labs platform for free okay why do i need to um, to solve quests in quick labs first of all if you finish a quest it will be added in your quick uh, it will be added in your uh, on your profile and you can update it in the uh, linked end you will find the badge you will uh, you can update it in your linked in account and if um, um, as a as a special uh, as a special uh, um, uh, a special gift for you guys um, if you finish one quest you will get another month free subscription if you finish three quests now you can see your monthly subscription now you have fully unlimited credits for a month starting from this today uh, from this day okay if you finish one quest you will get another month free subscription automatically for next month if you finish three quests <coughs> excuse me if you finish three quests you will have another month free access on coursera which is a website well-known website for uh, providing courses with verified uh, certifications from Google itself so you'll be certified in cloud if you take this month free on Coursera and sign up on one of the Google cloud courses now um, that's it for today and yeah if you finish five quests 
within this month I'm sorry we started a little bit late so at the end of this month if you finish one you'll get another month free access if you finish three months you will get uh, three quests you will get another um, another um, another month free on Coursera where uh, and uh, you can choose one of the Google Cloud uh, qu um, courses and if you finish it you will get a real certification from Google that you have finished this course and you can of course upload it on LinkedIn if you finish five quests if you manage to five uh, finish five quests within the next I don't know um, today is the 26th of uh, December if you finish five quests by the end of this month you will get a free swag box from Google having t-shirts and awesome stickers and a certifications again that's that's it for today guys um, I hope you get your free month access by the end of this video and we will um, upload regularly hopefully um, quests um, to finish and hopefully uh, within uh, after the finals we will start some sessions maybe in the university in the open lab so if we did we will uh, we will inform you guys and you are welcome to join again this developer student club is not just for IT students so if you have a friend who are interested in in cloud or developing his own application or his, in his, uh, his own website or uh, machine learning or anything he's in general interested in IT and programming to uh, to maybe help him with his major project for example or something so if you have a friend who are interested in uh, Google Cloud and Google uh, and Cloud in general um, you can send him the link I will provide the link in uh, uh, the group the WhatsApp group to so he can be added and be updated with the, uh, the upcoming sessions okay sorry if the video is long but if you have any problems with your monthly subscription please inform me as soon as possible on whatsapp thank you guys have a good night